I have the Google Pixel 6 right here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to lock the bootloader of your smartphone. Now before we begin I do want to point out that relocking the bootloader will result in the device performing a factory data reset. This is a security measure put in place by Android so be sure to back up as much of your data as possible before you proceed with this video. There are a number of reasons why someone would want to lock the bootloader of their smartphone. Whether you're done experimenting with a custom ROM or just needed to unlock it so that you could downgrade to an older version of Android. I know that was a very popular topic with the Google Pixel 6 series and the December security update. But keeping the bootloader locked is important for a lot of people. Now another thing to make note of is for anyone who has modded their phone, for example, do not attempt to relock the bootloader of your Pixel 6 if you still have Majisk installed, or if you're currently running a custom ROM, a custom kernel, or anything custom on the phone. You need to be running 100% stock firmware if you plan to lock the bootloader of your Google Pixel 6. Now many will even need to go as far as to manually flash the stock firmware images in fastboot mode before locking the bootloader because they made so many changes to Android via root apps and the like. And since your bootloader is already unlocked, I'm going to assume that you already have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. If not, be sure to check the video description below as I'll be including a link showing you how to install that. But when you're ready to begin, we're going to go ahead and boot the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro into Fastboot mode. Now I've already done a separate video on how to do this as well. So if you want to follow that video, I'll be linking to it in the video description as well. I simply just use the ADB reboot bootloader command with the device connected to the PC with a USB cable and USB debugging mode enabled. So if you want to confirm whether your device can recognize your phone, you can type out the command fastboot space devices and make sure you have a device listed there. The same way you would type out the command ADB space devices to check and make sure it is recognized in ADB mode. And when you're ready, we're going to type out the command fast boot space flashing space lock. Now, this command needs to be executed in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools, which is why using these separate installers can be very handy since we can just open up the shortcut and get a window specifically tied to our ADB folder. So when you're ready, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. And you should see the screen on your Google Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro change. And you should get an OK message right here. So this is the new screen that we're going to see. We're no longer going to be in fast boot mode. We have been booted over into this locking bootloader screen, which by default is going to highlight the option, do not lock the bootloader. Now we need to press the volume up or the volume down button to change this option. You can see we can change from do not lock to lock. Now again, we're, the whole point of this video is to lock the bootloader. So we're going to highlight the lock the bootloader option. And then we're going to press the power button to select that option. As mentioned, it's going to do a factory data reset which it had just done on that reboot. So we have locked the bootloader and now we are 
booted back into fast boot mode. Now you should be set to the start option right here by default, but if you press the volume up or volume down button, then you likely have a different option here. You just want to make sure the start option is highlighted. You can see our fast boot mode changed to locked. This was unlocked because our bootloader was unlocked. Now our bootloader has been relocked. And we're just going to press the power button to start the phone up. Now this first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal. Remember we just did a factory data reset. But it's going to take us right to the Android activation screen. I just skipped through the Android activation screen and then we can dive into the settings of enabled developer mode so that we can go in and see that our OEM unlocking toggle is still currently set to enabled which means that our we are allowed to unlock the bootloader and we're going to want to change this. We're going to swipe that to the left to disable this toggle to finish the process of locking the bootloader. You can see we're going to need to restart the device to enable device protections. So we're just going to restart the device. and then boot right back into Android. So now the bootloader of the Google Pixel 6 is completely locked and we have re-disabled the OEM unlocking toggle.